Okay, let's get another one done. Um, security. This is uh, 2.0 uh, on CompTIA's exam. It's 20% and we're looking specifically at 2.3. Given this scenario, apply the appropriate OS and application security controls. Once again, we're taking this right from CompTIA's exam objectives, uh, 2.3 here. <clears throat> and let's get started. Happy day. Okay, policies. There's password policies. You can set complexity. Do they need um, special characters, uppercase, lowercase, uh, alphanumeric? How long should it be? We need to be careful um, because I like password length um, and some complexity, but sometimes we, we get a little too carried away here. Um, I also would strongly encourage people to use a password safe. Um, I personally use Dashlane as a password management tool. Um, and it has some other added benefits with the premium. Um, I have another video on that. Go find it. I have a specific link that if you use, it gives you some months free of, of premium and it gives me uh, months free of premium as well. Account lockout. If someone tries to log in incorrectly so many times, do they get locked out to try and slow down the hacker? Uh, application whitelisting. What applications are even allowed on the on the system? Uh, software features, uh, users in groups. What uh, what's allowed? Okay. <clears throat> user permissions. Now, what can a specific user do? Uh, antivirus or malware and endpoint detection and response. Um, this is becoming more and more crucial as uh, people are really the weakest point and they get something on their system they can try and spread from there so we talked about intrusion detection and intrusion prevention with at the network layer but there's also host-based so host-based intrusion detection systems and host-based intrusion pro uh, pr protection systems so a detection just detects it doesn't it it logs it uh, and that's it a prevention uh, tries not only if it, if it sees it, it acts upon it as well. Okay. Hardening baselines. Everything should be uh, should have a, a certain levels of security. One of the ways that you can secure things is doing your best to only have a small function or feature set for uh, servers. So, for example, if you have a server that's a web server, it shouldn't also be. Um, an FTP server and a DNS server. So do your best to have a single function. And, and, and so if there's a vulnerability, it's only in that area. Okay, and they can't get into the others. File integrity. So watch for files. Uh, make sure that hackers, if they've changed it, that you're aware of it. So um, there are a lot of different uh, ways to do this. Um, uh, oftentimes they use the MD5 sum of a file to see if it's changed. So login event monitoring. Um, we've talked about monitoring a little bit in a prior video, but we usually don't do enough. Um, and when we do, we don't understand it well enough. So we need to work on that. Um, configuration management. How should things be configured to work together? Okay. Builds. <clears throat> Are you using the long-term stable build that's going to be supported, long-term support? It's going to be supported for long-term or you're using the stable. Um, hopefully you're not in production using beta or canary builds. Um, the beta builds are getting close to being stable. Uh, they're considered sometimes release candidates it would be the next stage. Uh, canary is even before that. So, um, so operating systems uh, upgrades, are you staying on supported versions? Um, excuse me, it's an organization. Uh, one thing too, how many different uh, operating systems do you support? The more operating systems you port that you need to support, the harder it is on your IT staff. So um, I, I do my best to keep only two generations. Um, if, if you're a third, if, you, if you're a generation, a third generation behind, we would put you on what was called a die, die, die list. It's something we want to go away. Um, or if it broke, we may, um, instead of fixing it, we might upgrade you 
uh, to get you working. So mandatory access control. Um, is, is, are things locked down to be specifically only what pe uh, people should do and, and how they should interact with something? Um, with Linux, we use SE Linux here. Uh, software firewalls. Um, do you have host-based firewalls as well as network-based firewalls? And then encryption. What levels are you doing encryption at? Because um, there's a lot of different layers. And uh, are you encrypting while you're using it? while it's transporting and while it's at rest. So, um, and when you're encrypting at rest, what level is it? Is it file? Is it file system? Is it the storage? Uh, is the entire OS encrypted? Anyway, um, if, if it's the entire OS, once the OS is running, it's, it's in use and then it's not really at, at rest. So at what level um, is, it, is it encrypted? Anyway. Awesome. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video.